Hey everyone, Dino Ren here, and welcome back to another video. I'm noise in my intro. Mm. Hey everyone, Dino Ren okay, here, Okay, so welcome guys, today... <laughs> 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 what is going on? Hey everyone, Dino Ren here, and welcome back to another video, where today... And the wild update is out! Yay! We're gonna show you all the features of the wild update! That's pretty... Wild, am I right? Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Yeah, I'm here with Mini Bruce. Um, yeah, so I set up a little area to show you guys all the new features. Today we are, um, basically just, um, and he's talking. like, showing you the new video? Or. <laughs> update? Update, you mean? Today we update? are showing you guys the new update. Um, yes, and, and I have built. Boy, I have and... built. I have built with my own Minecraft blocky hands. An area. Yes, I know built all. No, I built all of this. Uh, what? Can't. Hey, no, take it all the credit. You didn't build a thing. No, it was, all, it was all Dino. Dino spent like hours on this. Actually, more like I created minutes. the server, so it's all under my profile. So actually, I still have the file save for the world. So, so do I. Yes, but <laughs> yes, but I can one shot you every every time I have to look oh, down. Oh wait, I know what it is. What? Yeah, I had a strength 255 effect that I Why? I turned off all the I, I turned off uh particles so it didn't even show me that I had it. Why did you give yourself strength? Um I don't I don't have time to explain. I'll show you later. Anyway, so um yeah, yeah you ready to go look around my strength map? Working. Hmm? Okay, my sprint's working. Okay, nice. Great. Great. Um, so yeah, here, I'll lead you around because you don't know where anything is right now. So, follow me. Fo follow me. Yeah, I'm an adventure. I can't So, over that. here is the LA! And if we're not going to this first, then this is all blurred. Yeah, we are going to this first. Okay, so then it's not blurred. Okay, so what this what this guy does is, uh, if you if you drop an item, it'll grab it. It always sounds if on. You could, uh, it, it's not making any noise. It's a statue. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a statue? Yes. Can we go in it? Uh, no. No, of course not. What does it sound what? like when it dies? Why do you want to know that? <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so, um, if you give the Alay an item, it'll pick up that item whenever it finds it, and if you play a note block near it, it'll come towards the note block and drop it there. So you could set up a hopper system, that makes it so that the LA will come towards the hoppers and then just drop it in and give it to you. Um, an idea. Yeah. Let's show that at the end of the video. Let's like set it up. Sure. And show yeah, it. we'll show all the mechanics and stuff at the end. We just get to show you yeah. the mobs right now. And next up, and also I showed what it spawns from, which is a spawn egg. Hey, put that back! Put that back! Okay, good, good job. And over here is the warden. Incredibly terrifying. Later on, we get to fight it. Um, <clears throat> that'll be fun. And it spawns from either the Warden Spawn Egg, or it's summoned by Put That Back, the Skulk sh Shrieker, when it gets a signal. Which is very scary. Can I, can I use the Skulk Shrieker? No, not yet. Will it spawn it? Okay, let's no, show that. No, because Mob Spawning is on. Yes, that's also at the end. Yeah, anyway, let's show everything at the end the here video. is the Mountain Frog. Well, it's not Mountain, it's um just... Colder temperatures is the, this kind of frog. I don't know why I said mountain, but anyway. Colder temperatures, uh, this frog, it comes in orange. And here's a tadpole. The frog, actually adding frogs? Huh? They're actually adding frogs? Yes, of course they're adding Sorry, frogs. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Frogs <laughs> the spawn from spawn eggs. Tadpoles spawn from tadpole spawn eggs. And you can give them, you can get them in a bucket of tadpole, pick them up, and they also come from frog spawn. So will they just like spawn naturally, like spawn naturally, like squids? Mm, tadpole. When mommy and daddy meet. Or are you yeah. talking about frogs? Do tadpoles? No, they don't spawn naturally. Do tadpoles grow up? Tadpoles grow up into frogs. You get an advancement for sneaking. Uh, yeah, that's because of the warden. Uh, wait, there's a there's a skull center. Oh, because there's a warden right next to us. Yeah. You that get one for sprinting. You do? I don't know. Do I don't you? think so. Uh, no, if Ooh, you haven't got it yet. Anyway, um, yeah, so this tadpole here, it will eventually become a frog. 
Um, yeah. A tadpole living in its not so natural environment. It's in water. What else could you wish for? <laughs> anyway, uh, um, like a lake or a so, pond, not so. <laughs> chi not trapped in glass. Anyway, anyway, I could um, for that. Uh, temperate biome frogs are green because wait, no, they're orange. Okay, now I'm confused. Okay, middle temperature. This is what a frog looks like, and if you come across it in different colors, then yeah, you'll come across it in different okay. colors. Okay, in heated temperatures, in hot temperatures, it's white. Okay, in there are temperatures in Minecraft, a, like you know, deserts, that sort of stuff. As oh yeah, yeah. Um, and then uh, in temperate temperatures, it's orange, and in cold, in, in um, yeah, in cold temperatures, it's green. That's right. I remember Humid. the order now. This is not a mountain frog. What about humid temperatures? I mean, there's a jungle over there. We can find out later. Okay. So, uh, what's next? Uh, what's next is crafting recipes. But first, I have to show you my beautiful mud hut. Wait. Mud. Trying to... Mud's, mud's a thing now. Wait. Look at my beautiful mud path. Packed mud? Yes, it's packed mud. Now don't go inside mud my bricks, beautiful mud brick wall. Yes, and uh, in mangrove? here is the house, but there's nothing in here. So what's mangrove? You'll see. It's a type of tree, though. Oh, so can I not talk about it yet? Yes. Oh, actually, but there is something about frogs you guys should know. But I'll explain that later. Stop doing that. Throw it away. Throw it away. That's for later. Oh. Spoiling so many things. Okay, so if you do, if you take dirt and a water bottle, so you, where are you? Okay, you're here. No, don't take it out of the item frames. Vinny Bruce, I know what you're thinking. Don't do it. So, done. You got mud. Give me a, give me a water bottle. Sure. Oopsie. Take mud and you put wheat with it, you get packed mud. Which is that block you saw over there. So, this is in a crafting table. Like this. I believe he's doing a demonstration. Even though it's very self-explanatory. Packed mud. That's what you get. Now stop building. You'll How never stop me. No, you'll never stop me. How? Wait, what? Oh, you're flying! No, I'm not flying. I'm just jumping on top of the block. You're just not destroying the block fast enough. No. <laughs> I have no reason to live for that. Wait, you took away my all. <laughs> no, I'll put it back. I'll put it back. <laughs> anyway, no more fooling around, okay? We got a lot of stuff to cover. Okay? Okay? Mud plus mangrove root, mangrove roots, which will be covered later, and Vinny Bruce, stop. 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 Get rid of them. done okay okay anyways mud and mangrove roots in a crafting table mangrove roots we'll get onto that later um makes muddy mangrove roots and packed mud for packed mud makes mud bricks and after that you can guess what you do with the mud bricks to get mud stairs and walls and stuff yeah, yeah it's basically the same as stuff probably doesn't it does it does? It does! Here, I'll show you. Here, have it. Here, have it. Here, have it. Put it in. Try. Put it in. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Apparently that worked. Okay. So, yeah. Great. Now, follow me. To the mangrove trees, where I will show you. This is a mangrove tree. That I basically just put a sapling down and grew it. And it spawns with moss. So this is how it spawns naturally? Yep. This wood? This is roots. These are the mangrove roots I was talking about earlier. Oh, so wait, can you break them? Yes, you can. And you will get mangrove roots. And if you put mangrove roots with mud in a crafting table, you'll get muddy mangrove roots. It so also happens when mangrove... When a mangrove tree... 
spawns right next to mud, then it will, some of the mangrove roots, uh, if they're, if where they would have spawned is, like, in a mud block, then it'll become muddy mangrove roots. Also, look at this wood. Here, I will show you. Mangrove log. It's pink. I like it. Anyway, over here I have more mango, mangrove stuff. Mango stuff? Mangrove stuff. Here is a mangrove propagule. Um, yeah. It plants in the water, because that's how actual mangroves grow. You, you put it in the water, and it moves in the water. That, that's how it works. Yeah. Um, a mangrove propagule is, um, basically a sapling, but it's underwater, so that's great. Um, and over here, mangrove planks. You can guess how they're made with mangrove logs. Oh my gosh, what a surprise. Mangrove logs. What? Just look over here, there's no... No, trunk. there are. There are. Come over here. Up. Yes, there are. See, that's a mangrove log. Wait, so does do the roots grow underground or above ground? Above ground, because that's oh. that's how it is in real life, apparently, according to Mojang, which is probably true, and it's pronounced Mojang according to them. Mojang. Okay. Mojang. No, yeah, I know it's Mojang. Anyway, I have more stuff to show you, so get back down here. I'm Tarzan. Nice. Okay, so there's also. Uh, mangrove roots, muddy mangrove roots. I like these. Don't ask why. Who's that? Uh, mangrove, strip mangrove logs. Uh, mangrove wood, obviously. You know, when it's has no bark. Uh, mangrove wood. Mangrove leaves. Leave me alone. Ha ha ha. Where did you go? I disappeared. You'll never find me. I found you. Oh, I was just <laughs> <laughs> And here is a mangrove sign. There. <laughs> Stop moving. Okay. Okay. Anyway, here is a mangrove sign, mangrove fence gate, mangrove pressure plate, mangrove button, mangrove trap door. Mangrove door, mangrove stairs, mangrove fence, mangrove slab. I'm done. Now stop playing with the trapdoor. So, next? I will tell you what is next when it is time. Goat horns! Goat horns. They added goats, right? Yeah, they're. Goats were in one point. How disconnected from the updates are you? Auto jump on? Anyway, the, uh, there are eight types of goat horns, and if I can figure out how you get them, I will show you later. Uh, the first one is ponder. This is what it sounds like. Do you have your sound on? Yes. Now, uh, put it back. Okay. This is seek. That was sing. You know what seek is. Um, feel. This is feel. It's absolutely terrifying. I think that's dream, isn't it? Admire. Nope, that's admire. Uh, this is call. Wait, it's on cool though. This is yearn. Hmm. Wait, do a bunch of goats come when you call them with the goat? No. Call? Huh? And then dream. I'll show you dream. I want to dream. I want to do it. Dream. I'll have fun dreams tonight. That are totally not nightmarish. Anyway. Ooh. <laughs> boats with chests are here now, finally. Um, yeah. So this is a mangrove boat with chests. Get out of Wait, the chest. Of the boat. Wait. They're, they're boats, but they have I'm teleporting. The storage of a single chest. That's all it, that's, that's the only difference. I'm I have more cool stuff to show you, and one that's mildly terrifying. Stop. Can two people ride in a boat? Uh, let's find out. Get in. I don't think so, though, because the chest is no. taking up the second spot. Um, okay. Wait, how do you craft this? Just a boat. Uh, and a I chest. believe it's just a here. Let me check. Yep. Okay. Just put a boat with a chest, and you got it. That's it. It's pretty simple. Anyway, I have more stuff to show you over here. Okay. There, there, is a new music disc that you get in the deep dark, and I will show you how. Uh, disc five fragments can be found in ancient city chests. If you get nine of them, you get disc five. Listen, it's utterly terrifying. And you thought this 13 was bad. 
Dish, dish, jeans. The broken one. Or is that 11? One of the two. That's creepy. Anyway, yeah, it's terrifying. Um, and it gets more terrifying later on. But I have other stuff that's not quite as terrifying to show you. Yeah, Actually, well, no. Let's play this in the background. Broken one. Now you get to listen what to that. Hey, hey, uh, knowledge person. What disc is the broken one? Uh, I believe it is. No, no, no. The the knowledge person. Disc eleven. Yes. Yeah, I said okay, thirteen so. first. I don't know why. Anyway, you get to listen to, to disc. Theory. You get to disc it. Listen to disc five the whole time. Turning sounds off. No. Oh. Okay. So anyway. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna turn it off. Stuff I almost like Those are frog lights. That um, it, an orange <laughs> frog will give you a ochre frog light. A uh, verdant frog light comes from green frogs. And a pearlescent frog light comes from white frogs. You know what? I'm gonna show you how, the, how you get them right now. Okay? It, uh, yeah, it involves frogs eating thing. Uh, so, if a frog, frogs eat slimes now. And, they drop and they die? Uh, I don't know. Slime balls, probably? This is Jeez. so inefficient. <laughs> Forever to die. Finally. Looks like Can absolutely nothing so far. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, frogs eat slimes, but they also eat magma cubes. And when a frog eats a magma cube, you get only they the baby. Me. They only eat the children. That sounds really weird. Anyway, when frogs eat magma cubes, you get a frog light, depending on which color the frog is. <laughs> if it's orange, you'll get an ultra frog light. If it's green, you'll get a... a Verdant frog light, and if it's a white frog, you get a pearlescent frog light. Now I'm gonna save you. So you can take a frog to the nether and it'll save you? Yes. Except it'll probably die before it can help you. Look, I'm very strong. And now the frog will do the rest. I just I accidentally broke the sign. Get back. Ugh. I have more stuff. Can I brag? It's actually not terrifying. What do you want to brag about? I have better internet connection than you. Press tab. And? Okay, so this is what happens when Skulk Catalyst spreads. And those are Skulk Shriekers. You're very lucky mob spawning's off. Or else you'd probably die soon. Anyways, get back up. So. Wait, can we turn mob spawning on and just see what happens? Yeah, we Jeez. will soon when we go into the actual deep dark. Anyway, Skulk Catalyst spreads when something dies on it. Which is why I had strength before. Um, because I was murdering zombies. So, let me show you. Okay, let me show you. Get back here wherever you are. Thank you. Vinny Bruce, there you are. Okay, look. It spreads when it dies, and the experience drops. But... If you were in survival and you broke the skull catalyst, what you would get is XP and skull catalyst, obviously. Ah 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 ah! Stop! You you killed me. So. so. Karma. It just summoned a zombie somewhere. I don't know where. Oh well. Yeah, so I spread Skulk Catalyst all around, but clearly you don't care, so. Oh well. Yeah, it's really loud. 
Let's go. Let's go. Um, I believe there's more. Yes, there is. There is. And then we're going to <laughs> the most fun area. That's not at all dangerous. Okay. Here we have... Hint, hint. The more ex you have, and if you die, spread more than a normal. Yes. It, the more XP drops, what did he say? the more XP. Sorry, uh, intelligent man is cutting out. Hold on. I'll say it. I'll say it. Oh. <clears throat> if... Uh, the more XP that drops onto the Skull Catalyst, the farther it spreads. Oh. Here, I'll so make like, some more XP. <laughs> That'll actually be important for soon, so. Um, so, anyway, the next option is in a crafting table, if you take a compass and surround it with Echo Shards, which you can find in the ancient cities which we're about to look at, you get a recovery compass. What this does is it points to where you last died. Take it, Mini Bruce, and you'll and it'll point right in front of us. It follow it until you get to the spot where you died. Back. Don't so like use right it. Don't yeah. have it on you while you're surviving. Plus, it's useless in hardcore world. Yes, it's, it's useless in hardcore, but it is useful in survival worlds. Just don't bring it if you're not looking for where you died. If you have it. Later, you're going to find where you died. If you have it, you're going to find where you died. But if you haven't died yet and don't need it, then there's no point. Anyway, Vinny Bruce, I have something to show you. I'm building a treehouse. <laughs> don't you just love recording with me? <laughs> yes, I do. There's, a, <laughs> there's one of those mangrove swamps you desperately wanted to see. Here. here do you want a stick? Get over here. Here is a mangrove swamp. Which is where mangrove trees spawn, obviously. Yeah, come here, I have a present. If it's just a stick. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've killed you in this video. <laughs> anyway, this is the mangrove swamp. Really, uh, undergrown, isn't it? These are propagules before they fall. Wait, propagules fall? Yes, they which fall. One? That's the whole point of them. Wait, which one's the propagule? Is that the mangrove one? Yes, there's only one type. Prop Wait, so if you have dirt surrounded by water, will that turn into mud, or only in the swamps? No, yeah. it only. This is naturally spawned mud, first of all, um, and it'll only spawn naturally unless you purposefully put a water bucket on the dirt. So if you put a water bucket on the dirt, it's the no, same not thing a water bucket, a water it. bottle. Oh. Anyway, can you follow me? I have stuff to show you, I think. Oh, it, it would help if mob spawning was on. We can turn it on now. We'll need it soon enough. Alright, so if we wait a couple seconds, some frogs will probably spawn in. Um. Ah, whatever. Well, a frog in its natural environment is white apparently because apparently it's oh it's because it's humid here okay oh hey that's that, that no, answers my question wait no that's because it's, it's not humid in most mangrove swamps but we're in, right next to a jungle so that's why yeah but because it's humid the frogs are white um so that charging. shows which one they are in. swinging that's I'm taking damage from swinging. nice over here, however, they're a different color, because now they're on the less humid side, and in the more, well, cold area. Stop summoning frogs. Okay, thank you. Over here, right next to the birch forest, the temperature is different. What happens when we push them so into they're the orange. Trap. But right over here, it's still heated. What happens if I push the frogs into the swamp? Then you'll regret it. Why? Oh, uh, intelligence man wants me to share my screen. Oh. Why are we calling him intelligence man? Because he knows all the answers. Just roll with it. I, I'm okay. the one who's been yeah, studying this, but okay. Um, anyway. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah. Anyway, that's, that's basically all I wanted to say about the mangrove fort. Stop spawning frogs. Frogs are friendly. You're gonna kill the game, okay, buddy? Stop. Anyway, you do you want to go see what an ancient city is like and try to survive in one? Sure. 
With nothing? Okay, we need armor and weapons, because otherwise we are going to die. Okay. Also, I have an enchantment to show you, actually, so don't go in the create- Look, well, guys! Don't go it's in magic! The now I can fly! I turned- I put a cape on, and now I can fly! Get back here, I, I want to show you something. I want to show you something. Alright, so we're going to each get a full set of netherite armor. Okay, get back here. No, let's do iron. Netherite. Because I want to show you just how strong it is. You you'll want to do netherite. Trust me. I'll try diamonds. Anyway, so I'm doing netherite because that's just the smartest option. You're also gonna die. Um. Anyway, there's a new enchantment that I need to show you. Intelligence man here. Although it says swift sneak, after you see what he's about to do. You'd think it goes on the boots, but fun fact, it actually goes on the pants. I was literally about to show them that, but okay, thank you. But yes, Swift Sneak's, Swift Sneak, for some reason, goes on the pants. Don't ask why. I don't understand. Anyway. Oh, what's Swift Sneak? It's this. Look. Swift Hang on. Sneak basically makes it so you can sneak as quickly as if you were running. Which, that's Swift Snake 3. Here's, Mini Bruce, here's Swift Snake for you. Um, put it on leggings, for some reason. No. Because you, you run with your legs. Get... No, don't try and get Swift from an enchanting table. You can only get them in ancient cities. Yes, You're which is where, where, where we're about to go. Now, let's see what happens if you have both Swift Snake and Soul Speed. And how fast you go sneaking on Soul Sand. So, if you have both Soul Speed and Swiss Sneak, you move really quickly on Soul Sand. Faster than running, for sure. Especially on Soul Sand. Unless you have Swiss Sneak. Or Soul Speed. Actually, it's the same speed. Um, anyway. <clears throat> Try. Huh? Oh, wow. Yeah, and if you run on Soul Sand with Swiss Sneak, with, uh, Soul Sand, with Soul Speed 3, you move still the same speed. Running. Which proves that Swift Sneak is very good. Anyway, um, Guys? yeah, so I'm just gonna get Prop 4 on all my pieces because I'm gonna need it where I'm going. And I recommend you do too, Vinny Bruce. Also, viewers, have keep in mind, uh, Swift, uh, wrong word, Soul Speed has a making your boots lose their ability. So don't try it with iron boots. Bad idea. Yes, especially not leather boots. Anyway. And while we're on that topic, gold boots also. Oh yeah, gold boots are bad. Also, I'm gonna get unbreaking. So, um, if you go to the ancient city, I made it so far. You know. Preparing, you are gonna need several shields. Yeah, shields are also important. We're gonna need some enchanted golden apples, which is probably not what Vinnie Bruce is expecting to hear me say, but. Quick tip! Are they the explosive snowballs? Wait, no, there's the no tip. such thing as explosive Where's... snowballs in vanilla Minecraft, Wait, Benny Bruce. I've watched Mr. Dino, Beast video. I know, I know. Here's a tip. Uh, get this thing called a bell and get Ooh. and get a repeater plus some redstone. That's smart, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> that sounds too easy. If you can just get it to run away the entire uh wool blocks skulk sensor it blocks vibration so if you want to avoid the warden's well if you want to stop your stuff from getting sensed surround yourself in wool so that it won't sense it but it can still smell you so be careful and also guys uh here's a tip for skulk catalysts you need to be careful with them because they do have a one percent chance make a skulk shrieker which you will learn about later yeah i've actually when i was earlier i was um uh i was grow when i was growing out the area over there that i showed you Vinny bruce uh i got that's how i got all those skulk shriekers i placed nothing except for catalysts and i got all the stuff red stoners red stoners here um, i'm one there's a new block that is really helpful that you can find in the deep dark. They know, they all know, but it's... the abandoned city. 
it, it, we all know, but it's the skulk sensors. I probably should have mentioned yeah. that. I'm going to mention that later, though. But, yeah. If they watched Minecon Live, unlike Vinny Bruce here, um, then they know. And I want Unbreaking. Okay, I've got to re-enchant everything. Oh, that's nice. I'm almost ready. And I need a pick. Quick tip, On all the tools. Uh, you can get a lot of XP in school in the uh, ancient yeah, I, city. Yeah, I know. From the, uh... From the, uh, oh, what's it called? The Skulk Catalyst. If you break it, you get XP. Also the same for the Skulk Blocks, so. Yeah, bring a hoe. Oh, yeah, that's the strongest material for that stuff, isn't it? State that I... That's it. That's all I have. All right, I'm ready. Are you ready, Vinny Bruce? And... Yeah, I know. I want you yes. for the means to add a death counter on the side of... Are we going to survival I yet? don't know how to do that, so... Are we Just going to edit. survival? Oh, editing? Okay. Um, yes, we are going into survival. Um, okay. Just. Okay, so, um, we are go- Is that frog moonwalking? Well, I'll have to look back at the footage later. Anyway, um, we're gonna have to go to the deep dark. And I'm uh -oh. gonna go- So, <laughs> for a second, I was thinking, why am I so low to the ground? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to the ancient city. Also, crouch a lot, and we adjusted what we have. Hey, I found it! Finally. Okay, Vinny Bruce, it'll be a moment. But we get to explore the ancient cities in a moment, okay? But not yet, so don't teleport yet. And make sure when you're teleporting, you're crouching. Are you in survival? Uh... Ooh, okay, I'm gonna give myself a bed. Benny Bruce, you can teleport now. I'm just setting my spawn point, but teleport, Benny Bruce. Benny Bruce, are you there? There you are. Okay, make sure you're crouching and set your respawn point on the bed. Set your respawn point on the bed. Also, everyone, if this was your first time going to an ancient city, you would not have Swiss Sneak. Um, you can jump with sn while sneaking without sending out vibrations. You should probably stay sneaking at all times. I have an idea to make it a little more real. Don't have Swift Sneak. Just It's cause. too late. Uh, but, um, here's a warden. Spawn thing. Oh, this is the Skulk Shrieker. I know. So, if you, want you guys ready? Dance party! Oh gosh, there's three. Back up, back up, back up. Run. Well, don't run. Oh yeah, and by the way, you can get the darkness effect. Basically, it's a type of blind. Yeah, it's basically the same as blindness, except it's creepy. Uh, creepier, yeah. Also, if you plan on collecting them for devious purposes, um, choose to get a self-touch pickaxe. Yeah, you can't really... Well... Oh! It's coming! It's coming! The third one's the car. You're really scared of the warden while you're in prof. Yes, I am! Because it kills you in two hits when you're in plain netherite armor. Yes, that's oh. plain, but it's still. Oh, let me. Oh, let me tell them about some tips. If you really want to kill the warden, the easiest way to kill it isn't by hand to hand. Bomb. It's here! It's here! Run! I got snowballs. Also, Vinny Bruce, you're the only one who brought a a, a bow, so I can't see it right now. Snowballs are there to distract it. It doesn't distract it, but well, it does. Basically, it tricks it into thinking you're over there. Yeah, basically the warden is supposedly blind. It is so blind, it but instead it smells you. And it does yeah. not like the smell of you. It smells you and... It's coming for me! It knows where I am! Oh, I'm gonna... I got 
Sonar Blast! Sonic Blast is so epic, but you guys don't get to see it. Ah! Ah! One hit killed me! Well, after the Sonic Blast. Ah! Yeah, I just got killed by the blast. Okay, okay. So that is what happens. It'll hit you if you're trying to hide behind stuff. Apparently, including a shield. Yes, yeah, spectral arrows are smart, Vinny Bruce. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. You missed. Point of view: the person who is totally unprepared actually prepares better than you like. Bruh. Ah! Ah! Oh gosh, it's doing four hearts every hit, and I'm in full prop four. Oh my gosh! It just took out almost, it took out six of the eight enchanted golden apple absorption hearts. This is insane. Vinny Burst saved me. Ah, you just hit me with spectral arrow. Guys, here's a good tip. Basically, Don't get it by your bed. No, basically bring the things bring four craft doors and a ton of Get four craft doors in a ton of sand. This is used to trap it. You can't Basically, trap it though, because it'll shoot the sonic beam. It has no, a ranged attack now. You suffocate it, I know. You suffocate it. I know, but it'll still hit you. It's done it to both me and Vinny Bruce. It just did it to me again. And plus, if you're gonna raid the place, I suggest bringing a few totems and I brought a totem, but not a few. Ah! This is literally making Minecraft a horror game! I'm dead. I mean, technically, Minecraft isn't a horror game. It was your fault to go into the true, horror part true. of the game. True, true. I'm just getting XP over here. I'm pulling us one of one of the Ah! Vampus just died in one shot! Well, not one, probably, but still. Ah! Okay, yes. Okay, make a death counter, please. Yeah, I'm gonna be, but, um, that in edit, guys, you guys are gonna see how many times... We've died by natural effects, and how many times I've just killed Vinny Bruce. Ah, it's coming over there! Oh, gosh! Ah! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yep, yep, I died. I need a bow. Vinny Bruce, you're gonna be the one who's killing it. I'm gonna be the distraction, okay? I'm gonna straight up do a distraction. Oh, so you're gonna do the distraction dance from Henry? It won't find me if I have wool, except for smelling, in which case, I'm screwed. Oh. 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 You have any room? I'm kind of hiding right now. Um. Oh, it's right above me. Oh my gosh. I'm helping! With snowballs! He was killed again. So, um, yeah, you're not actually supposed to fight the warden. It won't drop anything. It's there to stop you from screwing up. Okay? Uh, you're supposed to loot it without getting caught. But we purposefully got caught for the purposes of this video. But, I'm gonna show you the kind of loot you can find while I'm getting chased to death. Hey, wait! Technically, isn't it in its name, Warden? Yeah, like a police warden. Anyway, yes. um, yeah, there's plenty of wool around the place that blocks signals, um, because wool blocks signals, um, meaning you can hide behind it. No. Anyway, I've gotten far enough away. Vinny Bruce, I recommend you run for your life. Oh, no. There's more skulk. Okay, okay, here is a chest, and I'm gonna open it. If you place wool, it also doesn't get picked up. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, diamond leggings with mending and unbreaking three. I got three disc five disc fragments, two echo shards, nine books, iron leggings with projectile protection four, iron leggings with protection four, curse of vanishing, and unbreaking three. 
an enchanted book with blast protection 3, and 11 am amethyst shards, and an efficiency 5 diamond hoe. And now I'm gonna run. Is the warden gone? Vinny Bruce? Vinny Bruce? Is the warden gone? Talk and crouch. Don't run. Okay, I'm guessing by the fact that we just got that. It's got Vinny Bruce, are you there? Talk oh wait, I think I still have him muted. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah. Vinny Sorry! I I've had you muted this whole time. Um I forgot. <laughs> Oops. I was like, wow, he's being silent. Huh. Uh. Camp trying like torches everywhere. Yeah, that's a good idea. Except for the fact that nowhere's safe. Now just at least we can see. We probably should have brought night vision too, but oh well. Also, if you walk on a skull streaker, it won't matter. Oh, here's the um. Can work spawn twice? Yes, they can spawn multiple times. Of course they can. Well, basically, warden. It's a different happened? warden though. Um, over here, warden? this I found the reinforced deep slate. Vinny Bruce, teleport to me. I need to show you guys something. Wait, Those... warden's coming. Quick, fun Just... fact about the warden or slash skull streakers. It can spawn multiple one three skull streaker spawn multiple warden. The mechanic yeah. is it can all there has to be a warden away from this range. If there's a warden within a certain box range, you won't get the bat. Or whatever. Oh, I see where the you warden won't. is. Um Vinniverse, I wanna show this to you. Can you just come and look? I know you're fighting the warden. I spawned another one by accident. Just, I can't tell if I spawned one. I can't see anything. But I think I did. And it's probably sniffing me out right now. I'm not the only area in the entire place. Uncraftable tipped arrow, what's that? No clue. Oh, um, the uncraftable tipped arrow is basically is basically just an arrow that has weird effects and does not pretty much. Thank you intelligence, man. How do you get the un Okay. Anyway, and Vinny Bruce, I need to show you something. If you feel like decimating your enemies, it is a ward. Oh, this looks really cool when you're not powering uh, yeah, um, Over here, teleport to me. Look, this is very. This is a structure. Some people think it's a portal, and this, this material around it is reinforced deep slate. Um, intelligence name, I believe you want to say something? Why are we calling him that? I feel like that's the worst name. Roll with it. It's fun. I don't want to roll with it. It's serious. Just roll with it. Any other name other than Intelligence Man? It's Intelligence Man. That's the name. Oh, what's this? There's a really weird wall building over here. I'm gonna break in. My intentions. There's campfires. All sorts of cool stuff. Yeah, that's it. There's only campfires. Okay. Anyway. Oh, there's a lava pool over here. I wanted to show you something. And um, uh, uh Intelligence Man, what did you want to say about um reinforced deep slate? Reinforced deep slate is technically slower to break than obsidian blocks, but it has no specific tool to break it, making it so if you have a netherite pickaxe, this efficiency five, technically it would be slower to mine. Reinforced deep slate, Zan. Obsidian, but technically that's Obsidian not the Also, don't try pushing it with pistons. Uh, yeah, I tested that earlier. By the way, it is also immune to Ender Dragons and Wizards. Try no. it out. Vinny you wanna go see something? Sure. I'm Thank taking you. some shots of the Wait, ancient no, no. ruins. Get over here. Please confirm what I just said. So, on a wizard and attempt to break it. I will yeah. soon, but not right now. Um, so is there anything else? about this that we need to know or really no unless you're a per like some people say that it's a it's a portal, portal to another dimension but really it has not been confirmed by mojang and also so, mojang's kind of made it wait can i say something 
Mojang's kind of made it clear in their Ask Mojang videos that they're not making another dimension, at least not anytime soon. And if they put this out, and they put that video out where they said that, at the very most two years ago, but still. Oh, diamonds. There, yes, there's diamonds underground. But still, the point is, they. I don't think they're trying to make a portal because they specifically said they don't want to make another dimension. Um. Yeah, that's just what I think. Hey, can I give you guys a Wait, fun Vinny fact? Wait, why can't I see you? Because I'm spectating. Oh. Can okay. I give you guys a fun fact? Sure, can go you? ahead. So wood is actually rarer than diamonds. Get into creative mode, Vinny Bruce. Why? So that... I don't know, actually. So that I can actually see you. Just trust me, I'll be there. But, uh, wood is actually rare rarer than diamonds. Really? Yes. Dino, can I because, tell you? You know, wood is, like, that? specific to Earth, but diamonds you can find elsewhere in the solar system. Oh, you're talking about real life? Yes. Oh. Wait, I Dino, thought you were talking can about I tell Minecraft. him a fun fact about oh, no. Minecraft? Sure. Okay. It would be cool to have a Minecraft solar system. Right. Mojang. Right. Hint. Hint. Too much for, mo for mobile devices. Actually, no, so don't make Actually, them get no. it on mobile. Yeah, Only but they want to co reach complete parity, so they have to have it the same on all the devices. Uh, no, they don't, because they get more money for. And uh, and they're not gonna turn away features to certain people just because they can't. They don't have a computer. That's just not cool. But I want a solar system. Too bad, Sonny. Anyway, can we finish this video? Sure. Uh, what was the other thing we needed to show? I'm sorry, I forgot. Okay. Um, anything? Oh, oh LA LA stuff, LA stuff, the LA stuff, the LA stuff. Yeah. Yes, LA. Intelligence man, do you have anything to say? Uh, by the way, Dino, uh, for the LAs, remember to bring a note. A what? Note block. Yeah, I know. Why do you keep killing us? So that we can get back. Oh. Anyway, um, get into creative mode, Vinny Br Okay, thank you. LA? So this is the little design we've set up. Yeah. And um, here is an LA. Here's another LA. Now I'm going to give one cookies and one milk. I want to see if it'll grab items that have already been done. And I'm going to press this and you see these signals. That means that the LA will go towards that. Alrighty guys, I'm, I'm back, back and I figured it out. The server's broken. <laughs> it's working perfectly fine in the single player world, as you can see. I am getting showered in dirt. Hey guys, so, um, I know I said bye, but, uh, Dino just tried it out, just tried out the LA thing on his single-player world, and it worked fine, so, It uh, is working fine yeah, right now. <laughs> yeah, so, it's just the server, so, uh, no LA's aren't worry. open. When you can, when you play it today, um, you won't encounter any trouble. Unless, um, unless, unless you're using the, the same server creator we're using. using. But we're not going to say it, because that would be mean to them, so... Yeah. We'll let you find out for yourself if <laughs> you use the same thing to play with your friends, and go have a fun time. Yeah, uh, and now um, I get to spend ages in it.